In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. That stuff is flat! Welcome to my channel. Um, I hope everybody that's joined has uh, paid attention to the video I just showed and well this is just my attempt to try and make it easier for people to understand the differences in angles with, with perspective. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, it was very apparent to me when I was having a conversation with uh, Tommy that he I didn't, didn't have a correct understanding of how perspective would change the um, relationships with, uh, with the different objects or if he's just trying to ignore what was being presented. So I thought let me just try and maybe make a simple demonstration with explanation to see if I can maybe get it through to the people that actually want to uh, see what's going on when we say we look at things in the distance. What I like about this uh, demonstration is it's got a lot of reference points we can work off of and well it's gonna just be the basics 
and take note this is not going to show any um, atmospheric effects whatsoever uh, atmospheric effects definitely do play a role especially with further distance observations but um, I'm just trying to show relationships with the angles and objects due to elevation and your angle you are observing something with okay so let's start with this these three still shots are from that video taken at the highest points with at each pole so the first one on the left is where I started I'm at the highest elevation I was at the distance from the first pole the second one is when I got to that first pole at the highest elevation and the third picture on the right is when I got to the middle pole on the highest elevation what you would notice immediately here is if you look at those reference lines from the left picture just your position um, forward changes the relation to uh, objects in the distance so if you look at um, the shade net for instance on the left the shade net is much higher than the hydraulic pumps head when you go to the middle when I walked forward it actually had a slight dip downwards to the hydraulic pump and when you go even more closer because the um, occultation is more apparent with the hydraulic pump it seems that shade net is starting to touch the tip of that hydraulic pump where if you take in relationship from the further to the closer you see the further um, point because we were higher up and looking down at the hydraulic pump because of the angular size this made the um, the pump seem lower now because we were closer to it and we were looking more upwards at it it seemed to occult into the distant objects so the breakdown is the closer you are to a referenced object, let's say like the Black Bull Tower, and the lower you are looking upwards to it, it would have more of an occulting effect to the background further objects as the shade net would represent, let's say, the mountains in the background. Now, yes, this is not a scale, it's literally just a demonstration of why we're seeing what we do. Um, you have to take into account also that with distance in real observations this is the reason why you can't really do a scale version of it is because it is a much more um, optical effect driven uh, phenomena optical phenomena I would say um, when everything's closer you do get perspective um, effects but uh, I have really seen that the larger the distance the more optical effect you get because you are looking through more atmo you're getting uh, weather differences you know there's a bit of refraction there's even though refraction is not always very apparent to see it is always there um, it also depends on your angle it also depends on the lens you got to your camera at there's so much different variables that change and that's why you can't really take on a footnote let's say just like what these uh, globe believers have been doing just angular size trigonometry and saying this is what you would expect to see because that's not reality Okay, and yeah, um, I've got the same ones just from the bottom elevations to show you. You see what's happening to the ground's angle um, now that we are closer together. This is more depicting what we see with uh, long range observations because you are literally closer to the ground. So the further you're looking into the distance, because of perspective, the ground is rising up relative to eye level and because you get a limited angle that limited angle once it has reached that what we call the diffraction limit is the point where you would usually if you believe in the globe 
see as the earth curve which a matter of fact it's not it's literally just that limited angle that has reached the diffraction limit so when you zooming in there you're just magnifying that limited angle and that's what you see as the bulge or the curve or the drop or whatever you want to call it anyway on the left hand side you see um the the hydraulic pump is quite high above the shade net that's because you are looking up at it just like you would be looking up at blackpool tower you're looking upwards and that's why it occults the much higher um shade net in the different in the back the middle one comes you go to the further it has it has even occulted more because you've got closer to the tower or in this case the hydraulic pump and because of the um, compression ratio of the angle the um, shade net has dipped down even further that's why when you get to the right you're getting closer to the, the hydraulic pump so it's even occulted more upwards and compressing even more over the distant <coughs> sorry shade net so this is what Ranty has shown with his um, previous video where he's showing the angular size would show that the reduction from top to bottom happens which is true that's where the compression comes with and with more distance that compression is going to be much more apparent now um, when you get and take that with the limited angle like Rue have showed the floor has definitely got the largest angle you get the bottom up obstruction with things in the background compressing downwards and that's why we have the blackpool swan image so i would like uh, everybody to actually just take a look at the video again maybe and just look at the different reference points and the relationships to every reference point to the distance and the angle and the elevations just so you can get a rough idea on why we see what we do because this literally demonstrates we never see earth curve so at the end of the day it's all just optical it's all just got to do with perspective and the natural phenomena that are um, demonstrated with perspective so yes when it comes to far distant observations definitely any um, lighting phenomena or weather phenomena or anything definitely has a huge part of perspective so if anybody tells you that has nothing to do with perspective obviously is being very disingenuous or is really ignorant to the fact that we do for, for our observations and due to the observations being so far you have to take every optical variable into account um, this is the latest demonstration from Bearded Devil, you know, the guy that claims to not be a globe believer or a flat earther, yet all his demonstrations go against the globe and demonstrate the horizontal plane. Well, yeah, in this video you can see he's trying to explain inferior mirages without him realizing that he is literally showing the inferior mirage, um, yeah, practically just magnifying the limited angle um, so you see just based off of this demonstration alone we know that the object in the distance is at its actual position not loomed up or refracted anywhere you literally got a band of atmo to look through so the further you look through the more denser that band is and the more uh, mirroring effect you'll be getting that you're seeing this it's literally just mirroring that image of the light of that image more closer to you on the x-axis this can only happen on a horizontal surface as he is showing if it's done on a curved surface it's not going to be able to push the light far enough for you to be able to see 
you just saw he used that uh, tin of compressed air behind that limited angle where the um, the band is the most prominent because it's it's um, magnifying that limited angle before where he had it that's proving there's no curve there it's literally just the limited angle that's showing us now he's going to move the car forward more to the area of where the horizon would be you understand where the people say okay look this is where the curve starts this is more or less with every observation it's usually a rough uh, ballpark but about round about halfway between the observer and the um, observation you see so if you're in a distance um, observation and you are just zooming in all you're doing is literally zooming in and magnifying that limited angle that you see I mean yeah you can actually see if you look carefully you can see the black line at the card at the back there that black line is actually literally where the card where the actual card is sitting the bottom of the card so the horizon is just playing tricks on you it's not in front where the car's wheels are about now and blocking the bottom of that card it is where it's supposed to be and you can see this by the effects of the limited angle just being magnified by the inferior mirage at this point so bearded dragon i have to with Really, I have to say thank you so much for all your demonstrations, trying to disprove us on our horizontal plane while you are actually, without knowing it, validating everything we are saying. Thank you very much. And while you all know better devil's going to say, oh, the surface is not 100% flat. Nothing is 100% flat. We live on a stationary plane that's got topography. That is reality. On land, you've got slopes, you've got hills, valleys, mountains. Yes, we label this flat because it's horizontal. Just like this horizontal surface you got is still flat, even though it's got humps and bumps and little imperfections. It totally mimics what we see in real life. Yeah, it's just still spraying at a different place. You see there, he's actually gotten and put it on the that limited angle that's halfway about between the observer and the card. Just have to say again, thank you, bearded de uh, devil. You are making one fine flat earther. So, um, going back to the angles, because he's so low and he is looking at uh, his level upwards at the card a bit, that. Um, limited angle is very prominent and you can see this even with that basket in the in the background you can see the the bottom is just 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 underneath like with the card but because of the occultation you can see the card is not really bigger than that um, uh, basket I mean if you have to put them side by side you'll know that card is much smaller than that basket but because they're so close together and you are looking upwards at it and that uh, card is closer it seems larger so again card is in the exact position it's not refracted above a curve it's on a horizontal surface and it is showing where the limited angle is this is what they would call earth curve if you guys want to watch the full video from better dragon oh better devil i will put his um video in the description box i would actually s advise people to subscribe to him because he really has very good flat earth demonstrations even though he's trying very hard to debunk us i think deep down he knows well thank you all for watching god bless and remember we live on a stationary horizontal plane. Bye.